everybody, I am Lacquer Lover, and in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to recreate my BCS Blood Sweat Tears outfits inspired design. And I was actually inspired by tweets that I saw of people hoping that BCS would wear similar outfits to the Grammys, which they will be presenting at today, like super soon. Um, I'm super excited for it, and I definitely had to make a design for that. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Start by applying base coat to all of your fingernails. I am using Unpeel Off Base Coat and it is especially important for this design because I will be able to peel it off and keep it in archives, which I'm very excited about. Paint your index and pinky fingernails black, your middle fingernail a sheer pink, your ring fingernail a dark denim shade, and your thumbnail white. On top of the white, I also applied a sheer yellowy nude. Apply a thin piece of striping tape diagonally on your index fingernail and start drying the design on Demon's jacket. And it's pretty intricate, uh, so I won't be going through each part of it because I think it's a lot easier seen than explained. So um, please just watch and I do show you guys every part and like every stroke and dot that I make. Peel off the striping tape and apply it in this fashion on the middle fingernail. And then you're going to be painting the area underneath the V shape in the middle with white polish. Get the super opaque and then peel off the striping tape. And then apply a dark blue to the top part of the nail. Peel off that striping tape and then Fix the bottom part by filling in the areas that are not covered by the white. And then for the dark blue area, just dot on a few small white dots with a dotting tool. And then on the white part, which is going to be Shuga's shirt, um, I'm just going to be drawing a few kind of leaf or flower designs. So we're going to start by the kind of branches um, or stems that connect them and then you are just going to draw a few leafy shapes or teardrop shapes actually with this dark blue polish. And wherever there is empty space, just fill in with a few wispy strokes, just quick flicks of your wrist. And then fill in each of those leafy teardrop shapes with a kind of light medium blue shade. 
Now add the line sort of details on leaves. So you want the middle line and then there's a bit of shading on the edges as well. For the ring fingernail, just start with a blue shade that's a little bit lighter than the base color and start drawing the petals of a rose. So you want to start in the middle with relatively small and short petals that are clustered together in the middle and then you want to branch out and make the petals longer and maybe um, thicker or wider. And then work on the leaves with a lighter green and just kind of stipple it on. We don't need it to be very opaque because we will be adding a lot of different tints and shades on for shading later so it will become opaque and so I'm just going with a lighter blue shade I just mixed in a bit of white and I'm going to add a few highlights and also it's to show kind of a gradation on the petals for it to look more realistic and then also use an even lighter blue shade at the tip of the petal and then I use um, an even darker blue kind of like the base color for some of the shadows and then I use a murky kind of military green color um, to add the shadows for the leaves and then you want to go back in with some lighter green shades for the highlights and then add the highlights to the petals with white polish Also dry brush a few white lines onto the leaves to make them more realistic and also to give it a bit more highlight. Now we're going to be framing the nail with white polish. So you want to leave just a little bit um, that is not covered by the white on the outside. And then you just want to do this all around the nail. Make sure to keep the thickness consistent throughout. For the pinky nail design, I was inspired by these jackets. So it is just a few like gold flowers on a black jacket and I'm just going to be drawing one of them. So you want to first apply a cluster of gold dots in uh, one corner of your nail and then kind of draw bigger petals or like loops around those clusters and then more kind of petally shapes around those loops. So we want to start with dots, then loops, and then petal sort of shapes around those loops. I don't know if that makes any sense, but as you can see in the video, now I'm going to be filling in those petals and to the right of this design where there was still a little bit of room, I drew a sort of petal or leaf shape. Fill that in with gold polish and then wherever there's empty space toward the tip, just add a few short strokes and dots. So I went back in with black polish to add the dots to fix up those kind of loop shapes and then fix up the petals as well. For the thumbnail, start by drawing a relatively large arc in the bottom right corner of your nail towards the cuticle of course and then I'm doing all this in black polish but basically you want to start um, kind of at the bottom part of the arc and draw a I guess like that part that goes to the middle of the wheel and so it's pretty complicated so I won't explain it um, but you want to repeat this three times except only two of the times will you really see the entire I don't know what you call it, like a spoke of a wheel, but then the last one, the third one, is going to be kind of hidden um, from sight, so you only need to do the hard work twice. Then I thicken the line connecting all of the spokes. And then you want to kind of widen your arc or draw one that is further out because the wheel does have a bit of a thickness. And then you want to just fill in the area between those two arcs. Then on top, just use white polish to draw yet another kind of arc shape that connects all of the spokes. And then further out, draw another white line or arc. And then in between, just draw a few like swirly shapes. 
They definitely look a lot more complicated on Jungkook's shirt, but that is nearly impossible to recreate on such a tiny canvas. Um, but now I'm going to thicken the black line, the outer line. And then I just filled in the spokes and then next you want to take white polish and just kind of dot it along the outermost white line so far and then just draw another arc on top of those white dots that you just dotted on. And then on top of that you want to dot on more white polish. And that's it for this design. All you have to do is apply a very generous layer of top coat. Do not apply a small amount or else you're going to smear the design. But make sure to do that and also to wrap the tip for longer wear time. So that was it for this BTS Bliss With Tears nail art design part one. There will be a part two going up. Um, you probably see it like immediately after this one is posted. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And I hope you guys enjoy watching the Grammys as well. But yeah, that's it. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye, everyone.